So what we're gonna go over is uh, the basic knee slice, sort of as a recap. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our partner, the feet and the hips. We're here, we're gonna have our hands controlling the legs. Whether you have the knees cupped on the shins, it doesn't really matter. Uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we're going one way first, aside from where we're actually gonna finish our knee slice. So I'm gonna go to my right just to get his feet and stuffed in between my legs. I'm gonna go here, stuff this down, and as I go back, now I'm gonna put my shin behind the knee. So I'm gonna shuffle back, shuffle down. My shin's behind the knee, my elbow is in close, and now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I slide this elbow that's in between his leg and my body deep into an underhook, taking away all the space between the two of us, okay? This foot's still up to keep pressure driving in. Now the only thing I need to get rid of is this arm stopping me, because if I try to drive through here, he's just gonna push me. All right, so whether I grab the sleeve and pull it up, or that I weave through, grab the arm and pull it up, doesn't matter, I'm gonna take this, drive through, so my hip clears, I'm gonna swim my knee back to the inside. Do it again, we're here, feet are in the hips, I'm going to shuffle one way, push this leg down, shuffle back, knee goes down, elbows already inside, closing the space, other leg is up. I'm gonna slide this deep, swim, get the arm out of my way, now there's nothing blocking me from going forward, Slide through, my knee clears, swim it back, keep his hips away from me. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say that we get into this knee slice same way as we did before. I go off to the side, stuff his leg, I'm down to my position and they're, and they're stopping me. They're pushing my knee, I can't go forward anymore. Now we're just gonna switch up the game plan. I'm going to take my hand, go to the top of the leg here, inside of the leg here. All right, so I have both knee grips. All I'm going to do is I'm going to push forward to get that reaction of pushing back. As he's pushing back, I'm going to press the knees down, kick my leg back, and end up hopping over the legs. I'm going to go here. It's going to be one. Pin the knees together. Hop over. Settle down. Into side control. All right, with his hips facing away from me. I make sure I tuck my knee behind his legs when I get to this side. All right. So again, we're starting here. Hands controlling the legs. Go off to one side. Stuff the leg. Go over. And they're pushing my knee. I can't drive through anymore. Okay, so I'm going to switch my inside arm to the top of the knee. This one stays to the inside of the knee. I'm going to drive, get that reaction from them to push back. Pin the knees together, kick my leg up, hop over, knee down, arm back around the body, and I can settle in side control. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the exact same position, but we're gonna go over a couple defenses, okay? So I'm going to start moving over to the side, stuff the leg, go down, but we're gonna say either he caught my arm before I can get low in between his leg, or they moved it in between my body and my arm, and now they have a knee shield, okay? So if they get a knee shield, obviously I'm not gonna be able to drive forward anymore, and I have to get rid of this, but instead of getting rid of, getting rid of it, all we're gonna have to do now is uh, go around it, okay? So option number one, his knee is inside. I'm gonna grab the top of his knee here, keep pressure down, I'm going to also reach and grab his collar. All right, and I'm gonna keep him kind of pulled in. Now, all I'm gonna do once I have these grips is I'm gonna have my elbow and my knee drop to the floor at the exact same time. As simultaneously my head is going to the shoulder area. Okay, so it's gonna be here, elbow and knee drop, head goes to the shoulder, and now I'm going to sit to my hip far from his body and kick my leg back. Here. All right, once I get to this position, I'm gonna make sure I have this posted in case they try to drive up on top. I can drive my head in, I can lift the leg, and come back into side control. All right, for a basic long step pass. So again, doing the same thing with the knee. You hear one, two, he gets his knee inside, grab, grab. I'm going to elbow and knee drop at the same time, head goes to the shoulder, and my leg is gonna do a long back step out. Here and drive up. Another option of what can happen is, let's say I'm doing the exact same thing, and instead of their knee, they get their foot inside. All right, if their foot's sitting here right on the edge, it's still gonna limit me driving forward, but I can still do the exact same technique. I'm just gonna change my grip from the knee to the bottom of the pants, stiff arm his foot out here, and then do the exact same thing. One, two. All right, so 
Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the exact same position again. But when we get here, we're gonna say they have their foot in again and it's too far across my body for me to stiff arm it out. I can't push it out. I can't end up getting it back out to the outside of my body. So all I'm gonna do is instead of this grip, I'm gonna switch to a cross grip. I'm also gonna cup the ankle as I push it across and pull it across my hip for a leg drag. Here, I'm going up in this leg weave type position. Okay, as soon as I push it across, I'm gonna collapse my body on top and keep myself tight. First finish that we're gonna do is I'm gonna underhook, get his leg shelved up in my arm. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start back stepping my leg, walking around, side control on the other side. You can finish in a cradle here, or you can take your arm out, and then finishing a normal side control. All right. Option number two from the same defense, I get to the position, they get their foot, I can't push it out, cross grab, push it across, chest stays low. All I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna push his shin down, all right, to get it here. All right, once I get my leg over top, I can switch to the knee, lift my hips up as I push this down to get my knee clear and over top. Once I get my knee over top, it's very easy to now just take the arm and finish like a knee slice, straight through into side control.